This is one of my active Cloud Connect accounts that I mostly use towards the end of 2024. As you can see, through those three months, I earned a total of $810. That's just for three months, right? Now, if you come here, you realize that in October, the first time I was having the account, I earned $63.33. November, the earnings went up to $357. December, the earnings were at $261. Remember, during these three months, I was not giving this account my all since I had several accounts. What I want you to conclude from this data is with the Cloud Connect, you can make at least $400 a month. And if you break that down into a weekly earnings, that comes to around $100 a week. If you're interested in an easy, easy, that easy way to start earning $100 a week, then you know what? In this video, step by step, I'm going to show you exactly how to open a Cloud Connect account. What is Cloud Connect? Once more, Cloud Connect Research. I'll just go to the home page and you can see that. Basically, Cloud Connect account is a lot, a lot, a lot like prolific. Same job, same everything. The only difference is Cloud Connect does not require phone verification. Initially, when you sign up the first time, they won't ask you for ID verification, but they may ask you about it down the road. And you can just link any PayPal. You don't have to have a specific special US account. Hence, it's not as saturated as prolific, has the same work as prolific. You can earn a hundred dollars a week. There's absolutely nothing not to love about Cloud Connect account. But to open it, you need to know one very important thing. What makes Cloud Connect really, really difficult to open is a feature called Sentry. What exactly is Sentry? Sentry is basically how Sentry works is that data on how fast you answer surveys, whether you answer the right service or not, your profile. All this data is analyzed by AI and they decide whether you're really human or you're just not human. Sentry analyzes data about just how you're feeling surveys, your profile, and decides whether you're acting like a bot and you're acting like a fraudster or not. As such, to successfully open a Cloud Connect account, you need to be able to bypass Sentry. The number one thing you need to bypass Sentry is a fantastic anti-detect browser. Basically, Sentry does very, 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 very aggressive, aggressive browser fingerprinting. Whenever they suspect this browser looks dodgy, what they do is you never get a reply from them. Aside to get a reply from them, you need a superb anti-detect browsers. They're basically two anti-detect browsers that have been using successfully to open Cloud Connect Research that as of today actually, actually work. The first one, the one I'm currently all out using it, and I don't know why I'm telling you this secret, but I shall tell you nonetheless, I don't get keep. Here's the thing. The browser that I'm using is called Multi-Login. You already know that. Let's go to Multi-Login. Multi-Login right now, like these two accounts are active, Cloud Connect Research accounts, and I've, I created them and I'm running them on Multi-Login. The good thing with Multi-Login, and like the other alternative I'm going to give you, is that it is a full browser that you can just run on your computer. The other one that also works perfectly, perfectly, and you can use it as an alternative to multi-login is Gilak. Now, Gilak is different. It is basically a cloud phone profile that runs on the cloud. You can either choose Android 11, Android 12, Android 13, run it on the cloud. It's a cloud phone profile. You use it to open the accounts. Now, let's just create a quick account and I can show you how it works. Remember, the link to all this is in the description below. You just create an account and click start. You basically choose an Android 11, an Android 12, or Android 13 phone. And when you run the phone, it's basically a phone that runs in the cloud. Now the problem with it is it's a bit cumbersome to use since you basically have to type one letter at a time, but it does the work. First step, in order to successfully open a Cloud Connect Research account, you need to get yourself either of these either multi-login the best the one i would recommend or gilak currently they both work if you try go login if you try more login it used to work with more login but nowadays it no longer works now i'm just going to go to multi-login and what i want to do is i want to create a new profile i'm just going to skip over the creation of the profile but i'm using multi-login and for my anti-detect browser, because of course, of course, you know, an anti-detect browser without a proxy is really, really nothing. I'm going to be using Node Maven. So I'm going to be using Node Maven. At the same time, I'm going to be using multi-login as my anti-detect browser. Remember, if you want 
finer, finer details on exactly how to set up multi-login site that it works with Node Maven and how to set up payment or anything. I have a mini course that shows you general concepts that you need to know to open any of these online hustles accounts link is in the description below just click it it will show you all the tricks all the tips things that i can show on youtube everything is right there in that free mini course i basically set up my anti-detect browser told you i'm going to use multi-login it's the best you can use gilak if you want now what i'm going to do is i've set up my multi-login with my proxy again the proxy i like using is node maven remember when you're using node maven and you choose mobile proxies don't restrict it too much let's choose the country the region let's say you select the city and then you also restrict and the isp sometimes you may end up having proxy failure because you've become too specific and there are only few proxies that can meet your condition you want to, uh, to set the parameter set that you have a large batch of proxies anyway again i told you finer details how to set this up and additional discussions there's a link to a free mini course down there you can just go and access it anytime now once i've set up my anti-detect browser my proxy it's now time to open the cloud connect research account i'm just going to run it i run it and it's going to open up as you can see proxy is in georgia everything is perfect so i'm just going to google cloud research click on the participant app it takes a bit of time to, to load make sure you've chosen connect to tech studies then I just click create an account. I'm doing this to do accounts. Use your name. In this case, I'm going to use a pseudonym. When it comes to email, let me just pick an email from here that I'm going to use. This is the email I'm going to use. Shop in my Chromium. That's the email. Set your password. Again, you can use a US now. The phone number is actually optional, so you don't really even have to input your phone number. You can choose anything here and just create your account. Then they'll send you an email. I'll go check the email and there's an email from cloud connect after verifying email you just go ahead and log in again it will take a bit of time to load but there's no problem now this is the most important part of this entire application process during this application process you have to go to verification and this verification is basically a bunch of questions that you have to answer and as you answer them you need to answer like a human if you answer like a robot by for example exaggerating saying yes when it's no and such you will fail and you will never ever ever get a response from cloud connect research so what i'm going to do is just click go to verification and you realize it changes it becomes sentry.cloudresearch.com sentry is that app that i told you it really tests to see whether you are a human being or not i'm just going to fast forward do it it's pretty boring stuff you know this section one is basically 15 simple questions you have to answer what i'm going to do is i'm just going to answer through them and then i'll tell you the basic tips and tricks in order to pass this section successfully because sometimes the questions are rearranged there's really no value in me showing you but this is section one and then there's a section two let's complete section one first so basically I just completed the first section and the first section it's a multiple choice question and two writing questions for the sake of making this video brief again there's a link down in the description to one goes to a short mini course that will teach you everything that i can show on youtube on how to get these jobs especially important if you're outside the united states and the english-speaking countries and then there's also added another link to another document that has all the questions to pass section one the tips are simple don't be afraid to say no they're testing to see whether you're human so you don't have to say yes 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 to every question to pass if something doesn't make sense that they ask you about have you ever swam the entire course of the amazon river of course the answer is no don't be shy to say no on top of saying no take your time if you rush through it they might think of some sort of boat and sentry will block you out just do it at a normal pace not too fast not too slow when it comes to writing don't use any of those chat gpt and ai alternatives plus any other just simple sentences just type them out make a few mistakes look human that's the goal of that section now in this next section you're going to chat with a chatbot mostly they ask you about a particular game whether you played the game when you were young how you came to know about the game the trick here is to just interact with the chatbot in a natural normal way just type the words no hurry no rush in summary there are two different distinct tests the first one 15 questions options a b and c or yes no likely don't be shy to choose no take your time and when it comes to the last two questions where you're answering just type 
make mistakes, no problem. The next phase will be where you're talking with a chatbot. Same thing. Just chat freely. It's a brief test. And just like that, you click submit and you done. But unfortunately, you don't get the feedback instantly. They'll tell you the verification is processing. And usually in my experience, it takes anywhere between three to eight days for the feedback to come. So what you can do, you can just do several of them. Maybe do some with multi-login, do others with GILAC. And then you have a whole bunch of Cloud Connect accounts waiting and processing. If you go to your Inbox account, you'll realize Cloud Connect has sent you an email and the email says, welcome to blah, 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 Cloud Connect. But this is not the email that tells you whether you've been accepted or not. This is just some normal email that everyone gets. Now, after waiting for three to eight days, there's another email you receive. The email that you get when you've actually, actually been accepted looks something like this. You're in. Please complete the remaining onboarding steps so that you can start earning money. All you have to do is just copy the onboarding link, go back to your anti-detect browser, paste it. What happens is after you've completed that, those onboarding steps will basically be your dashboard. That's when you'll see the jobs, then your project history. This will be the projects you've done, blah, 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 blah. Your payouts, the amount you've been earning, the different conversations you have with the different researchers. Then there's a noun about you section. They'll be asking you to confirm your identity. You don't have to confirm your identity. What you can do is it will reach a point, they'll force you to confirm your identity. Then you will have to deal with that problem at that time. Remember, there's a mini course link in the description below that will tell you all the options you have as far as confirming your identity is concerned. Now, to ensure you get the most jobs, all you have to do is just answer all these different questions in the about you section. Go to the general section, then answer whatever it is that you want to answer in a marital relationship. Just answer whatever it is that you can answer, then submit. And that's just it. You start doing your simple surveys step by step and you'll be making at least $100 a week. Easy peasy. If you want to upgrade and do something that's just more than filling surveys, more than Cloud Connect, more than prolific, more than your typical surveys, then don't hesitate to go to our videos. There are plenty of said hustle websites that I've reviewed over there. And this is like legit, legit reviews from someone who's done these side hustles, not just someone who's going through the website. And I'll take you step by step how to open each of these accounts. Again, check out the description. All the tools that I've used to open the accounts, right there. Until next time, happy hustling.